What is going on guys? Just want to give a quick shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one website creator platform that allows you to custom create your own online store or website. So check them out and take advantage of a discount link in the description box below. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Often I'm upset that I cannot fall in love but I guess it's the voice that's just falling out of it. No, ask someone to listen. in Vancouver with Jeff traveling, traveling everywhere. I'm visiting my sister. She's here with her best friend and also one of my best friends as well. And today we're going to go to the Capilano suspension bridge. We're gonna go to the jungle. We're gonna go to the treetops and we're gonna go on suspension bridges. This morning I got some Tim Hortons coffee, which I'm really loving. The whole point of the video, um, a lot of people ask me how much going to grad school and doing my PhD cost me. So in this video, we are gonna talk some numbers. We're actually gonna eat some breakfast and we are still in downtown, downtown Vancouver at Cora's. This is breakfast. I got an egg white omelet with some tomatoes, dry wheat toast. This is a breakfast Jeff. burrito. It's got some egg and that looks so like sausage, good. cheese. These are potato wedges and sour cream and salsa. And I also got this for the house. Banana and Nutella crepe. And there's like, there's literally like half a carton of Nutella. So that so looks good. so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh my god, I love that. Mm. Banana and Nutella. I think I can eat everything. Like, I'm like psychologically really hungry and I crave everything. But then when I try to eat, I can't eat. Okay, so I am here at the Capilano suspension bridge. This, this is kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. Really? <laughs> a little bit. I just have a How does everyone falling. feel? Yeah. Julie, are you alive? God, why did I do this? <laughs> Julie, I'm with you. Thank you. Ooh. Both hands right My now. My baby's enjoying it. <laughs> the baby's doing better. Where are we? Scale, scale of one to ten, how scary? Zero. How scary? She doesn't want to admit it. I don't want to admit it. <laughs> it was like a five for I, me. If, you don't, if you're not scared of heights, it's not scared. Okay, I'll give it a six. A six? Yeah, a you're six. a little bit more scared than me. Zero. Yeah, you almost did. You, you tried to get your thumbnail like off of it. Get down, get down, get down. Ah, uh, <laughs> a wild Dr. Buttermore. I just want to know. <laughs> I completely forgot that I'm a doctor. Doctor. Oh, Dr. Stephanie! I heard like a lot of people who did like a study about that, or like it talked nicely with water, and yeah. but then there's a lot of people who did it too in different words, so it's like, I don't know what to believe. <laughs> I believe none of it, it's not science. We just finished up at the Capilano suspension bridge, and now we're at the Cactus Club and we're having some lunch, and I have a beautiful salad with some grilled chicken. Jeff has some blackened Creole chicken. And Nadine has a tuna stack. Chicken sandwich. For Julie. For Julia. It looks really good. a big salad. But when I get back, we're gonna um, chill for a bit before we leave for our back workout. So as implied by the title of this video, I am going to be going over exactly how much it costs to go and pursue a PhD. It's going to vary per university, per state, if you're public, if you're private, if you are in-state, out-of-state, international, a lot of things will vary. I just wanna go over kind of like my story and kind of how much it would have cost you if you went the exact route that I did. Out of high school, I went into an in-state university, the University of Central Florida. It requires 120 credits credit hours to complete a bachelor's in science. Depending on how much per credit hour your university is going to charge you, it's going to be that amount times 120. And at the University of Central Florida, with fees and tuition, it costs about $212 per credit hour. So $212 times 120 credit hours is roughly $25,000, $25, $26,000. Okay, so I also have a minor degree, 16 to 18 credit hours. So that's gonna cost you an extra almost $4,000. Just undergrad alone with tuition and fees, not including room and board or books or food or anything like that, 
undergrad will cost you about $30,000. So now, if you're interested in pursuing a master's degree, a master's degree at the University of South Florida, which is where I did my master's degree, it costs roughly $35,000. I have two master's degrees. My first one I paid for myself. My second one was supplemented by my PhD program. If you are just outright pursuing a master's degree at a public university in state tuition, it's gonna cost you about $35,000. Next, a PhD. You actually don't pay tuition as a PhD. You actually become a member of the faculty. You are actually paid as a PhD candidate. You receive a stipend and it is not a lot of money, nothing to write home about it. Mine was roughly $26,000 a year. That varies based off of university, what state you live in, what country you live in, all sorts of stuff. If you don't know anything about the research that I did or what I did my PhD in, go watch my PhD recap video, which is the video right before this one. But I did cancer research in my field. I did work in a lab. Just so you know, I had a contract with the university that I actually couldn't have a job working as a PhD candidate. And I wouldn't advise to do so because you dedicate your life and soul to your work. You have, you can barely sleep as it is. But even though your tuition is covered as a PhD, it's roughly $1,000 a semester in fees as a PhD. I only took three years, admittedly significantly less time to do a PhD in my field. The national US average is about six years. Six years times three semesters in each um, academic year, that would be 18 semesters. $18,000 if it took you the national average time. It was nine semesters for me, so it was $9,000 in fees. Cost of undergrad, the cost of a master's degree, and cost of a PhD. It's gonna cost you about $70,000 in fees and in tuition alone. No room and board, no food, no books. If you jump straight into a PhD program, which I would not advise against, it's just a personal preference, it would save you the money of not having that master's degree. However, However, it might take you a little bit longer to get your PhD if you don't do a master's first. Now, taking it all back, going back to high school Stephanie, I had very good grades. I had a 4.0 GPA and I had a 6.4 HPA because I did 13 advanced placement credit classes. When able to knock down the amount of credits I needed for my degree, I played varsity sports and held leadership positions. So I was able to attain a scholarship that paid for 100% of my tuition of undergrad, applied for a lot of different scholarships, and I got them for my undergrad degree. And I actually continued to apply and attain scholarships when I did my master's degree. And I was actually able to attain a fellowship as a PhD student. All of these things help decrease the cost of all of this schooling. I know that number at the very beginning sounded like a lot of money. It sounded really daunting, but if you do all of these things, if you do everything right, you can decrease the cost of it all a little bit. There are there are scholarships for women. There are scholarships for particular minorities. Apply for them. Sometimes you're the only one that applies for it, then you automatically get it. So there's no harm in trying. Just do it. It helps. Another thing I can recommend for you to do, have a very impressive CV. Make yourself stand out because that also helps award you those scholarships. Another thing to keep in mind, throughout my entire undergrad and all of my master's education, I did work. I think I've worked in every category of job you can have. Oh, I did take out loans. So throughout all of this, in addition to working and having scholarship money, I did have to take out loans. I, it wasn't exactly enough for life. Life happened, just kind of like wrap it all up. With the bachelor's, master's, PhD, cost you about $70,000. Bachelor's, two masters, and a PhD will cost you roughly about $800,000. And getting educated is very expensive, but it's worth it. It's made me the person that I am today. Okay, so to address probably the burning question is what's next for me? How do I pay for it? Um, what am I doing now? What am I doing with my life as a scientist? What am I doing with my life as a YouTuber? Well, stay tuned because I'm going to have a video on what is the next step for me. Uh, stay tuned for that. But as of right now, I am going to go do a back workout with Jeff. So so I will see you then. After the workout, Jeff and I are at Nando's and I've heard of Nando's, but I've never been to one before. So we saw one, we're like, okay, we have to try it, see what all the hype is about. So I got half chicken and veggies. Wedges are delicious. I'm gonna give this a try and hopefully it's good. Hopefully it lives up to all the hype. Really? 
guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, Nando's was actually really good. I don't know if it lives entirely up to the hype, but Jeff and I did enjoy it. I also want to thank Squarespace for supporting this video. As I said in the beginning of the video, Squarespace is an all-in-one website creator platform that allows you to custom create your own online store or website. They have beautifully designed custom designer templates, award-winning 24-7 customer service, and if you're interested in creating your own online store or just want to create your own website, you can start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash buttermore and get 10% off your first purchase. So if you like these informative kind of videos related to my PhD, I do have a couple coming up, so stay tuned. I will see you next time. Bye.